because this pig right here is about to go ham. DC's latest animated movie starring furries as super pets has been a fan favorite amongst all its viewers. Whether you're a team DC or Marvel, pets having superpowers is a must watch. And in case you didn't get enough of them after watching the movie, we're here to refresh your memory with 10 secrets you missed in the DC League of Super Pets. He doesn't want to go in the gate. Everyone is upset. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out all that you missed out on while watching the movie. We caught it all for you. If you think Superman's dog, best friend Crypto, is the only superhero dog in the movie, you might have been mistaken. The real comic book fans know the actual story behind Ace, the Bat Hound. If you're a true animation geek and have been following the DC comics, you would recognize Ace as Bruce Wayne's loyal friend, who keeps his compound safe. He was a stray dog found by Batman and Robin during one of the crimes they were solving at the time, and in fact Ace dates back to the same year as Crypto in the comics. He subsequently follows Batman and Robin in their many adventures and is a recurring character in the comics. Fans of the animated series Batman Beyond might be a little more familiar with Ace's backstory as he is shown alongside an elderly Bruce Wayne as a Black Dane mix. In the DC League of Super Pets, he's portrayed more or less as a canine version of Batman, and although Ace has moved around breeds from being a German Shepherd, Great Dane and Great Dane and Mastiff mix throughout the comics, now you know who Ace really is. He's Bruce Wayne's loyal sidekick. One of the running gags of the movie is Kevin Hart's Ace repeatedly mentioning a farm upstate, where all the other shelter animals can go to be free. Sounds a bit familiar, doesn't it? Well, if you've ever lost a pet as a child, it's likely that you too know about this farm upstate. It's what you get told as a kid when your pet dies to, you know, soften the blow. Just like the adult version of your pet going to the farm upstate means dying, Ace's farm upstate is not actually a real place. It's a pet version of going to a better place. What's this farm called? The farm upstate. That sounds made up. One mention of the farm upstate evokes a rather strange response from PB the pig when she says that she doesn't see anything problematic with it. What does that mean? PB's response is a very sly reference to George Orwell's Animal Farm, where the animals revolt to create a more equitable society before a pig amongst them gains power and eventually becomes the president of all of the animals on the farm. Well, it's upstate, so that, that means it's, it's up. Obviously. So much for our quality, right? Wonder what PB the Pig has in mind. Crypto's origin story is another hidden secret in the DC League of Super Pets, but fret not, we're here to fill you in. Crypto was originally from Superman's ancestral home on Krypton and was used as a test subject to test the rocket launch that was supposed to send baby Superman to planet Earth. Unfortunately, our furry friend's rocket is knocked off course and drifts through space for years until it eventually lands on Earth, reuniting Crypto with his owner. Now the Man of Steel. Due to Earth's yellow sun and lower gravity on his new home planet, Crypto gains the same powers as Superman. Heat vision, super speed, and freezing breath. And in the movie, we see him making full use of his powers to save the captured superheroes from Lex Luthor and Lulu. Full circle moment. DC and Marvel have shared a fun rivalry ever since the comics have come out. The sometimes friendly and sometimes not so friendly dynamic between the two comic book giants is always a hit with the fans. They've even done a crossover together, but we're sure you miss those subtle nods to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and DC League of Super Pets. Let's unpack some. When Superman irons his shirt with his heat vision, he jokes that he should be called Iron Man. You should call me Iron Man. <laughs> no. Get it? That's pretty clever. Throughout the movie, the characters talk about having other superpowers, and Ace mentions he would like a magic hammer like Thor's. Another super pet suggests having the power to throw playing cards really hard, which is a reference to the mutant Gambit who possesses an insane kinetic ability to throw cards at his opponents to disarm and harm them. Pretty cool, no? The Ice and Fire guinea pigs are an ode to the on-screen friendship between X-Men, Iceman, and Pyro. Jessica Cruz is Earth's Green Lantern in DC. League of Super Pets. What's important to note here is that Jessica Cruz is Earth Green's lantern in Prime Earth, the true Earth from which all the other worlds within the multiverse originate. This is the actual Earth where the readers of DC Comics live and where all the superheroes are fictional. Knowing this gives us more details into the universe of DC League of Super Pets that it's set in. Jessica Cruz's presence in the movie suggests that this movie is set in Prime Earth, which ultimately is confirmation of the existence of the multiverse. 
Bet you didn't catch that one. Lulu, the hairless guinea pig, is a man antagonist of the DC League of Super Pets, and while she is super evil and a force to be reckoned with, we can't help but love the hilarious side to her. But did you know there's a secret hidden behind her hairlessness? Remember Lex Luthor, our favorite bald villain from the DC comics? Lex Luthor lost his hair as part of the genetic experimentation gone wrong, from which he is saved by Superman, according to the comics. Lex blames Superman for the catastrophe between the two and was born. Like the mentor, Lulu also ends up losing all of her hair as part of a failed experiment and she's really proud of it as it draws a parallel between her and Lex Luthor. Too bad he betrays her in the end. Poor Lulu. Did you notice that the animal shelters where they meet the rest of our furry friends is called the Tail Huggers? Sounds like a cute name, right? Well, there's a hidden meaning behind this tiny detail. It's a reference to the 1979 movie Alien, in which an alien evades the crew of a spacecraft. Leaving out the gruesome details, Let's just say the film was dark. This movie, Alien, could be a reference to the 95 crossover comic titled Superman Aliens. Does this mean we could possibly see a DC and Alien crossover come to life? We all know about Superman's side hustle, his alter ego, Clark Kent, is a reporter at The Planet, a great metropolitan newspaper. That's where the cash comes in from. It's not like he's making any money fighting crime. Well, Superman isn't the only superhero with a side hustle. In the scene of the movie where Superman is seen getting ready for his date, we get a tiny glimpse at his record collection that reads, Lance, ring a bell? That would be Dinah Laura Lance, otherwise known as Black Canary. Good to know that our favorite villain is doing well making music. You go, girl, singer by day, causing mayhem at night. Lulu takes matters into her own hands when she decides to use kryptonite to turn herself into a giant guinea pig with spikes. Now, you might have noticed this, but the look is remnant of a veteran DC villain. Can you take a guess? It's Doomsday. Doomsday is one of Superman's deadliest foes, so deadly that Superman was forced to sacrifice himself to defeat him. Crypto in DC League of Super Pets finds himself in a similar position as his master when he realizes that defeating Kryptonian, Lulu, is going to take much more than he initially thought. Another hidden parallel in the movie. Most of us know Kryptonite being the color green, and that's what we've seen in all of the Superman comics. So what's with the orange Kryptonite in DC League of Super Pets? Let us fill you in on another secret. Just like the lightsabers, Kryptonite comes in an array of confusing rainbow of colors. Orange Kryptonite specifically appears in number four of Crypto the Super Dog and is wielded by one of Catwoman's cats. What's special about the Orange Kryptonite is that it only affects animals and can give them superpowers of that of Crypto and Superman. So while Green Kryptonite is what makes Superman his powers, the Orange Kryptonite is reserved for his loyal superhero sidekick. That is all for today, folks. Like the video video and enjoyed it? Tell us in the comment section down below of these secrets that shocked you the most. Share it with your friends and let them in on all the fun and subscribe to keep on getting more content like this. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Still taking you all to that farm. Pop up and away.